What's up guys? Hope you all are having an amazing day. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to try something new. I'm going to do something very very interesting as you guys can see right here um there is a box here that says the bone air and you can see there's a picture of a camera on it that means it is a camera um it was given to me today uh by my friend sean and um he has shot it before and he showed me a couple of photos that he took on it and it came out really good but i've never shot anything like that before so it's gonna be fun um i have here a row of hp pipe and i'm going to put this through it um, I might be pushing the film. I don't know. I have not even opened this box I don't even know how the camera feels or looks like uh, uh, Except the fact that it's on this box right here, but I don't know how it looks like I don't know how I will shoot it. I don't know if the camera you can change the aperture or, I, uh, or Any settings on the camera. I have no idea again. I have not opened it. So I'm gonna open it right soon load this film in it shoot some photos around the house maybe walk outside around the neighborhood a little bit and try to see if i can get any photos um nothing really interesting maybe just to um test the camera out and see the results that i'll be able to get with it and then once i take the photo we will come back home um develop the film and then scan it and then you guys can see the results right away so this is going to be interesting uh, I'm super excited to start taking the photos or start unboxing it. So sit back and enjoy. <laughs> Guys, I don't know how to open it. Okay, so I says lock and then open. Okay, so oh, there we go. We got it. And then looks like it looks like you put the film here and then pull it out this way and load it through here. So let's see. I think I just rewinded the whole thing. <laughs> Alright, let's figure this out again. Like it, it has it has a way to rewind it, so let's figure it out. Phew. Okay. I think after so many struggle, um this this is terrible. This instructions is it's either terrible. Or I'm the one that is like not paying attention and not knowing how to fix or do this. But anyway, I think I got it. Um, I have the number one here. Uh, I'm going to figure the rest out and then I'll share the photos with you guys. So stick around and enjoy the photos <laughs> for real this time. All right, this really feels so weird, um, but I'm outside. I'm going to walk around and take some photos and see how they come out. It really feels weird. Babe, it doesn't even feel real. Like it's like a toy. <laughs> Is this the April Fool's joke? 
Is it? I don't even know if it's April 1st or not. I think that was it's, yesterday. That was yesterday. Babe, this doesn't even, this is like light as air. This is not even a real camera. I don't it's know. It's not real. It feels so weird. I think it's just a toy. Anyway, go take your photo. Does it have a lens cap? It does have a lens cap. Okay. So then, let me do landscape. Okay. You know, our dog is just over there chilling, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> you taking a photo of Sophie? Is this the shutter too? Yeah, that's the shutter. I was like shutter. up here like. Oh, oh you got a poopy dog. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not taking a photo of that. Take a photo. Okay. All right, don't, let How me do you rewind. rewind it? Let me do it because it's a little bit complicated. Guys, I am, oh man, I'm laughing at myself. I just literally took two photos with the lens cap on. <laughs> oh boy, this is a disaster. Anyway, let's take it off and take again. A few moments later. All right, I am done shooting the camera and the roll. Let's develop it and see the results. most complicated camera I have ever shot. I guess I should have read the um, I should have read the manual or even go on FPP's um, website to read about it before taking this out but I mean I like the challenge that I gave to myself which was just like trying to figure it out and shoot it. We had a few photos come out and then some of them didn't. Um, I actually took some photos with the lens cap on and it's a little bit embarrassing but I mean it was fun um, but I think I would definitely give it a try again I'm going to wait I have I'm going to wait like an hour for the film to dry so we will come back in here and scan it and see actually how the, the photos look like all right guys we have the film dried up and cut Ready to scan, let's scan them and then see the results. All right guys, I just finished scanning and editing these photos and they weren't joking when they said there is a huge vignette in on this camera. Um, there was a huge vignette in and um, I got a lot of double exposure happening and then also I don't know it's this is weird like the photos that I took in the um, I would say in the shadows turn out a little bit better and the ones that I took outside where there's like sun they didn't like really turn out at all and then there were some photos that I took like of, of the flags like pointing out straight in the sky. Those ones just like, oh my God, were all messed up. And then also one thing that I realized was with the um, winding, I don't know, it just seems so weird because there is no point of like stopping. And so you have to like guess where you want the number to be within this little hole right here. And... I just got some overlapping frames happening so 
I don't know. It felt so weird, but I'm definitely going to try it again. This time, pay attention to my composing and, and, and the exposure and all of that. Maybe I'll run one more raw film through it and see how it turns out. And then maybe we will see. But anyway, this isn't great photos, but it was so much fun shooting this photo. Um, I, when I picked up the camera, I was, I was thinking maybe this is going to be a video where I say, oh, I'm about to ditch my um, hustle blood and go in with this plastic because it can create beautiful photos the same as the hustle blood will, but I guess I liked myself. And so, um, enjoy the photos and until the next one, pick up some cameras, even if it's plastic, play with it throw in some rolls, create some beautiful photos and share with us all. And don't forget, always create to inspire. And oh, thanks Sean for giving me this camera. Um, even if I end up not shooting it that much, it'll be fun uh, camera to have and, you know, play with it at some point. And Rayma also loves it. So thank you. See you guys. Thank you.